When we install fibre broadband, there are many mitigating factors. However, two of the main ones which we come up against on a regular basis are way leaves and planning permissions. During the survey, every attempt will be made to place the cabinet on the public maintained highway, thus avoiding the need for a way leave. However, where we've got narrow footways or perhaps no footway at all, we often need to look towards private land in order to stand the cabinet. So a way leave is where we have to make a payment to somebody or a party in order to gain agreement to site our apparatus on their land. When we have to seek a private way leave, our way leaves team will build a way leave and send it to the grantor, who will then either accept or decline the way leave. Or we may come up against what's known as a section 117. That's where the carriageway has recently been resurfaced and no utility company can dig there for a minimum of two years, which can add significant delays to rolling out fibre broadband network. During the process of the fibre journey, we have to consult with various bodies in order to ensure that the works we're going to carry out meet local planning guidelines and also that we've got the relevant street works noticing in place to carry out road works. There are many challenges with multiple bodies who may be involved, but we're always looking for ways to try and get around those challenges in order to minimise disruption and delays to rolling out the programme.